New information about the controversy at a local pet store. The pet land in Robinson had to close after it received threats yesterday when a former employee posted that the store was mistreating animals. The store has since reopened, but the controversy continues. Pictures of abused animals shared on Facebook went viral. John Shumway has been following this story and joins us live now with the very latest. John. Yeah, and unfortunately, the threats are continuing. Three minutes before we walked in to see the store today, the employees in the store got yet another death threat by phone. The corporate headquarters behind Petland, and this is an individually owned and operated store, issued a statement today standing behind the store saying that the accusations made by this former short term employee are false. To convey otherwise is a great disservice to the animal care we provide. Meet Buddy. Bill and Carol Waters brought him home from the Robinson Petland three years ago. Never had any problems with them. No, they put the chip in them and everything here. The folks at Petland opened wide their doors today to show us every square inch of their operation. A display they wanted to make because they are under fire on Facebook and in a blog from a former employee who claims she documented cases of abuse at the store. The pictures have been viewed by more than 30 thousand people. So many medical issues, selling sick dogs, buying from puppy mills, and then selling to unknowledgeable people. It's a disaster all in itself. Because of death threats made against the employees of the store, they didn't want their faces shown. But manager Joanne Williams says the claims could not be further from the truth. It's absolutely upsetting. What kind of threats have you been getting? We've been getting all kind of threats, myself and my employees. We care for every animal here. William showed the extensive records kept on all of the puppies, including exercise charts and how often they're taken animals. Every animal is taken care of. Um, they're played with, they're loved, they are fed. We stay here at night. We come in on the weekends. We come on holidays. We take them home. Um, so. I'm, I'm very offended by a lot of that. Whether the allegations are true or not, we cannot independently verify. But as Carrie Mignot, who teaches social media at Robert Morris, points out, that's the issue with social media. You know, anybody who can read social media posts doesn't necessarily are always true. Um, journalists have this inane instinct that we don't trust anything until we prove it, but I don't think the general public feels that same way, and I think they should. The attorney representing this store told me today that there are quite a few things that they could do to take action against the former employee. None of those have been decided yet, and that's something they'll consider in the future. The State Department of Agriculture says they inspected the store on March the 10th and found no violations. In Robinson Township, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.